thank you for uh, sticking around. And uh, so we wanted to do something that is different from uh, the usual such events. You know, people meet, talk, and then they go away. And we wanted to make sure that there are at least a few things that are going to be certainly followed up. And uh, uh, with regard to that, we are uh, going to make a few announcements. I know the, um, you know, there was a question that was asked in the morning uh, interaction session about uh, what are we doing in terms of involving a larger uh, body of people in addressing questions on fairness, ethics, and so on and so forth. And to this end, I'm happy to announce that uh, we have signed an MOU with uh, the Itihasa uh, Research and Digital uh, on uh, starting a research program on AI, ethics, fairness, explainability, and policy. And I would like to invite uh, the uh, Itihasa folks on stage along with uh, Harish. Uh, so uh, this, is, this is a very interesting uh, program. We're super excited to be uh, partnering with uh, IIT Madras on this uh, important uh, research program. Uh, so uh, some of the things that uh, we plan to do is to bring together a collaboration among obviously academia, industry, and also look at partners uh, around the globe who can uh, help us to uh, jumpstart uh, this research. And uh, we want to see uh, how we can do some good amount of uh, primary research and come up with uh, India-specific uh, recommendations in terms of what really is required to make AI uh, ethical, make it safe, make it fair for our citizens. So, and uh, so one of the goals of this is uh, not just to limit the discussions to uh, technologists, right, but also involve uh, people from uh, social sciences, economics, you know, and, and other policy makers, decision makers. And, uh, and hopefully we'll also involve some of the uh, work that is happening in our Center for Technology and Policy at IIT Metras. So we are hoping to have a much larger uh, set of people engage in this conversation as part of this MOU. And uh, the second uh, thing that I would like to announce is that, uh, so uh, this is uh, something that has happened in the past successfully at various other fora. And so we are going to have like a webinar or a virtual sessions every six months. Uh, initially, it will be you know, announced to people who are attending this colloquium, but later on with a larger audience. This is more on, you know, we'll pick some experts with whom people can just, you know, connect and ask, ask me anything kind of sessions on AI. Right? So we will announce a priori what would be the theme of those uh, sessions. Under the theme, you could ask them any questions. It will be more like an unscripted question answer session through uh, a virtual connect uh, program. So more details will be released uh, shortly about this. Right? And uh, another uh, thing, so we have been looking at, uh, sorry, was that a question? Uh, sorry. So we have been looking at uh, various uh, socially relevant projects and so on and so forth, but as a result of some of the discussions that led up to this uh, uh, colloquium, I'd like to announce that uh, uh, we will be exploring a, a joint uh, research project along with uh, Capital Float um, to conduct research on uh, ML algorithms for looking at image-based risk analysis. A little bit of this was actually discussed in the ethics and fairness uh, uh, panel as well. I invite uh, Tushar to come to stage and uh, talk about that. So if, you, if you don't mind, I, I know I sprung, I sprung this on you in the last minute, please do come. I, I didn't prepare him for calling him to this. Table. I, I don't have any notes for you, but if you want to say something about what we are Yeah, so uh, actually, okay, I'll just briefly describe what we're trying to do, right? So uh, essentially, uh, in credit risk analysis for financial services, there is a cost to the analysis, and then the idea is to keep credit losses low, and uh, that's essentially how you can uh, uh, give, like, low-interest rate loans to, like, a large section of uh, people that traditionally get excluded from formal financial services. Uh, a lot of this is like trying to figure out credit risk from like images where uh, a traditional underwriter is trying to be like is trying you're trying to replicate what a traditional underwriter does without having to actually have a person in every location in the country. So it's it's a level of like uh, image recognition that's way beyond something that's uh, in like available within the company, and that's where we are partnering with Professor uh, uh, Ramindran to kind of see if there is a way forward uh, and figure out the problem. So I would really like to thank Capital Float for, you know, trying to explore these kinds of, uh, you know, research-based solutions. 
So one of the biggest problems I have when I interact with industry is that people always have a three-month delivery deadline when they come to us. And uh, for a company to actually sink money and happy to have a much longer horizon to explore problems is something really nice. So thank you. Huh? No, 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 no. Sure, sure. Certainly, I mean, it's, it's longer than three months. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not committing you to anything on this. And, and finally, uh, so one of the things that we kept hearing repeatedly was uh, lack of data sets. And so, uh, so we are going to be, we'll, we are announcing that uh, we'll make available a data set on the pollution levels in India. And uh, so this is from uh, select cities and um, the data is mainly drawn from an environmental intelligent meter projects. These are several pilot projects that we ran in different cities, uh, which involves uh, multiple organizations, uh, of course, including uh, IIT Madras, uh, the Robert Bot Center, and uh, Gyan Data Private Limited. This is a startup founded by Raghu, and as well as uh, the Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, uh, which has been involved in uh, studies of uh, effects of pollution on pregnant women, among other things. Right? And this data set will be made available uh, shortly once all the uh, legalities are worked out uh, from the uh, RBC DSI website as well. So this is this hopefully is the first of the several India-specific data sets that we will be releasing. We hope to release one on uh, transportation as well soon. So, and uh, once again, I thank everyone for coming here. And I mean, uh, the level of interactions that were there in all the three panel sessions were way beyond our expectation. So, and what made this whole thing really special is how actively engaged the audience was with the with the speakers. If it's just been people just spouting from the, st from the st uh, stage, that would have been just like yet another uh, session. So, and I really thank all of you for making the difference. And um, do you want to thank folks? Yeah. So, and so that's it. I mean, so a bunch of uh, announcements. I would ask you to give a hand for all the people who are involved in making these announcements possible. <laughs> Okay, first, before uh, I thank uh, people formally, uh, please visit the demos uh, in the demo uh, hall. hall I think four. they're all, yeah, hall number four. Uh, the folks are waiting for you there, and there'll be uh, tea and some refreshments served as well. So uh, please, uh, but please do visit the demo hall. Okay, so uh, uh, I have to thank each and every one of you for uh, having chosen to come and spend the day here in this colloquium. So we are uh, very glad you could uh, do this. We're very happy. And we hope you're carrying a few ideas to pursue. Uh, from this colloquium that uh, you can, uh, you will pursue in your work fields. So while this colloquium is on uh, AI, uh, I can tell you that it is 100% uh, driven by uh, human intelligence. And uh, there are uh, obviously folks that uh, we need to uh, thank. All the speakers, the anchors, the participants who made uh, uh, this discussion lively and wonderful. And uh, we need to thank uh, uh, the Dean Professor uh, Mahesh and Professor Ravindran for uh, supporting us right from the time this uh, idea was, uh, uh, was hatched. And uh, the sponsors, uh, Google, Divi Tucker and team, uh, they were very proactive, very spontaneous. And uh, the folks who actually uh, worked to uh, create some of those uh, aspects that were very critical, the web page, uh, uh, Uday Raja, Banner Design, Suban Prem, Videography, Kanan Krishnamurti, Banquets, the Eden team. Uh, last but not the least, uh, the all-important uh, Sridhar, uh, COO of uh, RBC Desai and his team, and uh, Shweta Bhupati from the DIA uh, IA, IA and AR's office and her team. And of course, each and every uh, group in IIT Madras which uh, helped us uh, and made this uh, possible. So have a good evening and please do visit the demo stalls. And, uh, you know, we uh, remiss, but uh, we want to thank uh, Karthik for having done a wonderful uh, uh, game for us, Pingo. So this is a small token of our appreciation. <laughs>